Hello everybody and welcome to this short tutorial where you will learn how easy it is to set up transparent data encryption in an Oracle database. Hi, my name is Peter Wall. I'm a product manager here in the database security PM team in server technologies here at Oracle. For this short tutorial, Joe, our DBA, will log into Oracle Enterprise Manager. Oracle Enterprise Manager is the default management tool for the Oracle database. Once he logged in, he clicks on Server and under the Security group there is a link Transparent Data Encryption. On the Transparent Data Encryption homepage, we see the wallet location already populated with the default value. This default value is inserted there if we don't see an entry in secretnet.ora. This default value is a subdirectory of Oracle Base and TDE best practices recommend to use a wallet location that is outside of Oracle Base. So what Joe will do in a moment, he will scroll down and expand the advanced options and scroll down a little more and click on the change location button. The change location button allows us to define a different wallet location. So we have to type in the, the operating system credentials and the directory that we choose needs to exist. So I created this directory before I started this exercise. And what Enterprise Manager does right now, it will add an entry into SQLNet.ora telling the database where to find the wallet if it's not the default location. So the change has already picked up by Enterprise Manager. <coughs> and if we take a look at SQLNet.ora, we see that we already that we have an entry there that says encryption wallet location and we have a directory. Many of our customers choose to deploy a multiple databases on the same server. In order to support these deployments, let's make this directory a little bit more flexible and instead of hard coding it, the subdirectory will have the same name as the Oracle SID. So then multiple databases with uh, different SIDs will automatically um, search for their wallet in a different uh, subdirectories. So the only thing that we need to make sure happens is that the name of the subdirectory and the name of the Oracle SID are identical. So in this case the subdirectory and Oracle SID is Aura 11202. If you have a second database that is called 10205 then you would have a subdirectory that is called Aura 10205 and both databases would check in their own directory for their own wallet. So now we can go ahead and create a wallet. We have to provide the operating system credentials one more time and the wallet password needs to be typed in twice. If both passwords match then this password will be used uh, to encrypt the TDE wallet. The wallet has been created successfully and if we look in our wallet location subdirectory we will see that we now have an encryption wallet which already contains the TDE master encryption key. The, uh, the encryption wallet requires that the uh, wallet password is given when your database starts so that the a wallet opens and the TDE master encryption key is available to the database. A local auto open wallet, what we're creating here, does not require a password to be given. The database knows how to open the wallet all by itself. And a, a local auto open wallet will only will only auto open on the server it was created on, so that's a very good compromise between between a security and a usability. So now we have our two wallets the encryption wallet and the auto open wallet and we will reduce the file permissions for the encryption wallet to 600 to protect both wallets as good as possible. So that was the setup of transparent data encryption. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.